So this isn't uh, some how to, like I read everything that Nietzsche wrote and all these other philosophers and I'm gonna tell you how to find yourself. That's not the case at all. Uh, I don't claim to know anything about you or the general person at all. But what I do know pretty well uh, is myself. So I figured I'd make a video talking a bit about how I became the person that I am now and why I'm so happy with the person that I've become now, despite all the terrible things that I've done throughout my life that I am extremely not proud of. Uh, not only did I make terrible mistakes and hurt people that I care about, I have, I'm a repeat offender. I've made the same mistake and hurt people in the exact same way over and over again. And I am at a point now where I don't do that anymore. Uh, or at least not in the same way. Don't get me wrong. I still, I'm sure I still screw up all the time, but regardless, I'm just going to talk a little bit about who I am and how I got this way. Uh, yeah. So basically, uh, growing up, I was like very quiet. Like I prefer to play alone. And to this day, I prefer solitude almost over anything. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I love spending time with friends and family. I love spending time with Haley, my girlfriend, uh, absolutely adore it. Uh, skateboarding with friends and stuff like that, going to the skate park and meeting up with people. That's all great. But I always find myself sort of clinging to being by myself a lot. And like I've never, and this is not like some weird flex or like some weird like, oh, look how quirky I am. But like, I've never felt lonely. Like I've never been in my room and thought to myself like, man, I just need someone here. Now there's times where like, I'm like, man, I wish Haley was here because she's my favorite person to be around. But it was never a need in general to be around other people. I feel like there's a song lyric uh, by a band called Mothers and they say, I feel like, I think I'm at my best when nothing's needing me. And like, I fully agree with that. Like when I am like not worried about what other people are thinking and feeling, especially when they're interacting with me, uh, I just thrive. And the way that I thrive isn't like, I'm out getting shit done and running errands. No, I just daydream. I just I just sit around and daydream a lot. I, I have a lot of friends that talk about things that they do for meditation. My friend Sean, he goes to the beach and watches the sunset and it helps like calm him down and like reflect on things. And like he called, it's called like nature bathing or something like that. Uh, which sounds kind of like masturbating for some reason. Not really, but in my head it does. Uh, but yeah, I just sit alone and just like make up, like when you're a kid and you just like make up scenarios and like everyone still does it, right? Like everyone still daydreams about scenarios or things or other worlds that maybe they create in their head. But uh, I don't know if anyone commonly, I'm sure there's a ton of people out there, but commonly does it as much as I do it. Like I daydream all the time, like hours a day, like, I look forward to bedtime because I know that I'm just gonna be daydreaming before I'm night dreaming. Uh, and I think that all that daydreaming and playing out scenarios and like doing things like that is what kind of helped me become, even though I was a very solo person growing up and a very quiet person, um, somewhat of a decent talker and like somewhat clever. And I have a little bit of wit to me when it comes to like, you know, going back and forth with people or making jokes throughout my like other YouTube channel, which is like a, not, I wouldn't say it's like more light than this channel, but it's definitely um, strictly just like having good times. I don't really take too many serious tones. Uh, but you know, like how you like play out those scenarios and you're like, oh man, like I wish I would have said that. Well, like I create scenarios in my head where I'm having conversations with people that don't even exist that I, don't say what I wanted to say. And then I'll daydream later on. Like, oh, I wish I would have daydreamed that I said this when I was daydreaming that I was talking to that person. Like, it's just like this like crazy nonstop loop. I remember like kind of confessing to someone I was dating at the time. I was like, yeah, like I like daydream a lot. And they were just like, no, everyone daydreams a lot. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't mean like, like, I mean like I like daydream a lot. That's created a lot of my confidence in a weird way because I've played so many scenarios in my head that when I interact with people, I'm like, I've done this before. It was with a dragon, but I've done this before. Not that I fantasize about dragons. I'm not that kind of fantasizer. But anyways, one thing that I do is sort of time travel back to a lot of the mistakes that I make. And um, there are some that I definitely avoid it for a while, like in the not so distant past, like very cruel things to people that I authentically uh, cared about. Like this probably isn't something that everyone wants to, you know, chime on about, but like I've cheated on someone who I authentically, truly wanted things to work out with and just just destroy the relationship. Like absolutely. And during the time, uh, instead of putting a lot of like mental energy into figuring out like how it happened, what about me caused it, I just kept trying to like mend the problem and like try to like make it up to them, even though that's not like 
something that you can really make up to them. Uh, so after that relationship eventually dissolved, uh, I spent a good bit of time not talking or seeing anyone. Like I intentionally avoided uh, any sort of sexual relationships or physical relationships or even really close emotional relationships with anyone that I was, well, anyone at all, really. Like, I mean, I could have a friendship, no, no kissing, no nothing, uh, because I knew that I had not done that for myself before. I've been a serial monogamous my entire life, you know, and I got cheated on her early on and I've had my heart broken and this, that, and the other. And I've never given myself much time outside of my like daydreams to really like sort through how I feel about things and how it is causing me to be the way that I was. Uh, and for me, a lot of my personality traits and reactions have to do with my interactions with people that I was with. Um, not saying that I wasn't born with certain traits and I didn't get some from friends and family and stuff like that. And I'm sure that my mom and dad raised me to have a lot of stuff. Uh, but I'm saying when I think of some of the bigger ones, I think a lot of it is just from lessons that I learned in relationships. And it wasn't until I took this time off of not being with anyone, not seeking anyone, intentionally avoiding developing any sort of crushes or feelings or putting out those vibes uh, that I like really picked apart like what I was doing. And it wasn't like I found like the reason, like, like this is why I cheated. It's not like there wasn't like a why. It just really boils down to like, Oh no, like I was just like a weak person and uh, which is just like, if you have that mindset, you shouldn't be fucking dating anyone anyways. You're just gonna hurt them regardless. And I'm not saying that it's wrong to have thoughts about other people when you're dating someone or something crazy like that. I'm just saying like, if there's any chance that you could act on it, don't date someone if you're in a monogamous relationship, which I was. And I think one of the things that I learned and I touch on this like a little bit in the video about how I quit smoking about like getting really good at saying no to yourself, uh, is something that I just like definitely needed to do. But my biggest enemy was justification. Uh, I would just justify every single thing that I did. And that is like the worst habit. Cause it is so like, no one can bullshit yourself better than you. Like you can talk yourself into and out of anything if you really give yourself the chance. And I think it's like a bit of a skill to identify when you yourself are trying to pull a fast one on yourself, which is honestly a lot harder to do than you think, because it's a lot of times I think your desires will come with like all these distractions to them where they'll like almost make you look the other way while you like go do this thing. A great enemy of any sort of self-control is just the term like, ah, fuck it, which I think is something that a lot of people think before they do something terrible. It's also something that you think before you do a lot of things that are like, brave or exciting or fun. So there's like good use for the fuck it mentality, but I also think the fuck it mentality has its roots in some pretty terrible things. And me getting a grip on that, it, it was hard for me, as I'm sure it's hard for everyone. If you have self-justification problems, which I'm sure every single person in the world has some extent of, uh, it's something that I definitely suggest taking the time to work on. Cause it's like this very strange sensation of trying to be like open-minded to yourself as like stupid as that sounds. Like there's times where I feel like I'm like, let's say I do something bad and like, I'm always thinking of it in this like one track, like this is how I handle this. Like when I do something bad and I'm dealing with guilt and it's really easy to find things to like lessen the weight or lessen the guilt and to really be open-minded. Like, okay, how like guilty should I actually feel? I almost like come at it from both sides. Like, okay, Here's like the worst case scenario. I'm like this shitty of a person and here's the best case scenario. Oopsie daisy. Uh, and then you just like really look at both of them until you figure out which one you're leaning more, more towards. Because I feel like my default setting is like, okay, I did this bad thing, but like, I don't think I meant it, did I? You know, it's like this like, oh, I don't know. And it's just like, no, no, I fucking meant it. And that for me was a very hard lesson to learn. And even though I've learned it and I'm having this video, it's not like I still don't have to like walk myself through it each and every time that I feel guilty. It's not uncommon for me to do something or say something that I'm like, oh, and then I like apologize later on because I need a time to like really like pull it apart and be like, fuck, like where do I, where did I actually stand with that? Like, why did I actually do that? And like, to me, that's like a big part of why I'm, happier with myself now than ever. Cause I've been convinced that I've been happy with myself my entire life. I've always been convinced that I'm just like, yeah, I like who I am. But now I think I actually do like who I am. Like I think before, if I met someone that was like me, I would be like, this guy sucks. And then like not notice the same flaws in myself. And like now if I met someone like me, I would think, I think I'm bisexual uh, because damn, 
now I'm still working on myself. There's still lots of things that I definitely want to fix, but those were like some big key points for me that, and it's not like I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, I'm proud of the way that like I handle things when I make a mistake or, you know, I'm proud of the way that I am in general. I'm still currently like taking time to be like, okay, how can I work on myself? Like I set time aside, like away from daydreaming and then like living life to be like, all right, like, let's check in. Like, what am I doing? Like, am I, am I who I want to be? It's like that. Uh, there's another lyric. I'm probably gonna be quoting a lot of lyrics here, uh, where, uh, it's the song's called ashes on the highway. And he says, I've lived many lives, maybe seven just this year. And I definitely feel that I have been different people. Not that they were like fake personas, but they were people that I thought that I was or convinced myself that I was because it softened the blow of who I was being. And they were just like, almost like these shells that I would put over myself. And now I feel like I am much less shielded from myself, which helps me be more authentic with not just other people, but like even in a video like this, like I would never talk about cheating on someone or something like that publicly ever. Uh, it's probably not even the best idea for me to do now, but uh, it's, I think that there could be some value in that for someone out there. Someone watches this video or someone can relate. Maybe there's someone who just daydreams a lot and that's the only thing that they connect to on this video. And they're just like, oh yeah, I daydream a lot too. But yeah, I figured I'd just like kind of throw that out there. Um, I'm at the point now where like very happy with the relationship I'm in. I'm very happy with the way that I've been interacting with people. I have always been an insane procrastinator, a very disorganized person and just all around messy. And though I still am all of those things, the extent of which is not severe because I have put more time into being like, let's work on those things instead of accepting like, oh, this is just who I am and how I am. Uh, not necessarily that that was like my scapegoat, but it was just like, I've been like this forever. Like I'm gonna like work on it, but there's only so much I can do. And then I wouldn't actually work on it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I, I like where I, not only do I love where I'm at in life, which where I am at in life right now, I do not count on it lasting. I'm in a very, very sweet spot where this is what I do for a living mostly on my other channel. In fact, entirely on my other channel. This channel hasn't monetized quite yet, but it probably will in the next couple of days. Uh, but yeah, I've just been doing what I want and having all this free time, which has given me more time to reflect on myself, which I know not everyone has. A lot of people work full-time jobs. And I definitely remember uh, working 50 hours a week, trying to like set time aside at work or when I got home to like really like meditate on things, which is a practice that I think everyone should have. But yeah, if any of this resonated with you or you have any like comments or anything, any advice, shit, give me advice, I don't know. People know probably more than I do. Uh, leave it in the comment. Uh, I try to interact with comments uh, a good bit. I do have my other channel that I also do that with, so sometimes I don't get to everyone all the time. I definitely can't respond to every comment, but yeah, uh, thanks.